the Nintendo news is finally speeding back up. So sorry, Paul. Back into storage you go. Like if you cry every time. What is happening, gamers? This is Bradley here, and welcome back to another news roundup. And to kick us off is that Nintendo has finally announced that the standard new 3DS is coming to the United States. Yes, at a GameStop manager's conference in Las Vegas, Nintendo announced that this was going to be happening. But there is a catch, it's not going to be sold individually, only in a bundle. This bundle will include a white new 3DS, a copy of Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, one amiibo card, and two Animal Crossing themed faceplates, and it will be sold for $220, and it will be coming out on September 25th. So if you just wanted the new 3DS and not Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, well, too bad. Now, even though this bundle was announced during a GameStop manager's conference, it doesn't seem like it will be a GameStop exclusive, because in the press release that Nintendo sent out about this announcement, there is no mention of it being exclusive to GameStop. I don't know if Nintendo of America bringing the new 3DS to the United States was a result of the fan outcry for it, but nonetheless it is good to see that it is coming over in some fashion, because there are fans out there that were holding out on upgrading to the new 3DS XL because they wanted the standard one with the faceplates. I already have a new 3DS XL with the capture device installed on it, so there really isn't much reason for me to get a standard one, other than the fact to say that I have one, and I don't want to do that. But hey, faceplates are cool. For those who do gravitate more towards the bigger screens, you should be happy to know that Nintendo has announced a new Hyrule themed new 3DS XL that in this case will be exclusive to GameStop. This new 3DS XL will be gold colored just like the Majora's Mask 3D one, but instead of a Majora's Mask on the front, it will have a Hylian crest on the front. It does look rather spiffy though, and if it is something that you do desire, it will be coming out on October 30th for $200 just in time for the launch of The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes on October 23rd. But keep in mind that this is just a standalone product, it doesn't come bundled with anything. Both the new 3DS bundle and the Hyrule themed new 3DS XL are both up for pre-order on GameStop, but by the time this video goes up they're probably going to be sold out. But hopefully Nintendo makes more of these than the Majora's Mask 3D ones. Now the GameStop exclusivity doesn't stop there, because if you're in search of some new Wii remotes, well I got some news for you. Bowser, Toad, and Yoshi Wii Remote Plus controllers are coming to the United States as GameStop exclusives. The Bowser and Toad controllers will be launching alongside Super Mario Maker on September 11th, and the Yoshi one will coincide with the launch of Yoshi's Woolly World on October 16th, and each remote will cost $40 each. Now if you happen to live overseas in Europe, well the Yoshi remote has already been released. But the Bowser and Toad Wii Remote Pluses will be coming out on November 20th for you guys. The Bowser, Toad, and Yoshi Wii Remotes will be joining the ranks of the three previously released Mario themed controllers, which include Mario, Luigi, and Peach. It would be pretty great to have all six of them, but that's $240. Uh. Oh, and just so you know, the Mario, Luigi, and Peach controllers are not GameStop exclusives, only the Bowser, Toad, and Yoshi ones, so yeah. Moving away from there, over to some Wii U news, is that some time ago Nintendo announced via that thing called Twitter that a special edition of Xenoblade Chronicles X would be coming to North America, but at that time we didn't know what would be included in it, until now. So, on December 4th, which is the day the game releases, there will also be a special edition that you can pick up. And this bundle includes a copy of the game, a book of concept art with more than 100 pages, a USB drive modeled after the game's life hold unit, and will also be preloaded with 10 music tracks from the game's soundtrack, and finally, you'll also get a limited edition matted 5x7 art card of the painting done for the game by illustrator Takashi Kojo. The special edition will cost $30 more than the standard game, which when you add that up, that is $90, which is a pretty hefty price. The special edition of Xenoblade Chronicles X will not be exclusive to any particular retailer. If you do want it though, I would pre-order it because I don't know how many copies there's going to be. If I had to guess, not that many. It is available for pre-order now, so get on it. I'm definitely not going to get it though, because of the Big 9-0. I don't like Big 9 Zero hoes. And to round this video off, is that if you're looking forward to purchasing a physical version of Shovel Knight, well, you're going to be paying a bit more for it. Originally, it was going to cost $20, but now it's been bumped up to $25. So why'd they do that? Well, Sparky, they did that because each copy of the game is now going to come with a digital code to download the game's soundtrack. This does kind of stink though, because you can download the soundtrack for free. 
Jay Kaufman, the composer of the game, does have the soundtrack up on Bandcamp and you can download it for absolutely nothing. So the inclusion of the soundtrack doesn't really justify the $5, unless it includes exclusive music from Plague of Shadows or something. I already have a digital copy of the game, so I don't plan on getting a physical version of it, but if you do want one, it's going to cost $25 now. And that will bring us to the end of the news roundup. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff, and you can stay tuned for more videos in the future. I did do a collaborative review with Haydox for Gunman Clive HD Collection. There will be a link in the description below for you to check that out. But I will talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!